What does writing need to have in it to be considered grade level proficient? During the conferencing phase, we focus on the need for the writing to make sense. Let's watch Kim as she does a demonstration of student conferencing, the do's and don'ts. You're gonna, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, if you agree or not. Do you guys understand? Yeah. And so what we're gonna do is when we're done modeling, we're gonna talk through it and what it looked like and sounded like, okay? So we have some common understandings. You're gonna start reading first? No. How about, would you mind? Do you mind if you started reading? It's easier for me, because I like to listen. Who's ever been a listener? One time, one time I scared my cousin really bad. First of all, uh, my cousin, first of all, my cousin and I went to the basement. My other, other, older cousin was it because he lied. He's talking, you can't talk to him. He's fine, he's reading. How do you know what, she's, what he's saying? He'll be fine. Why aren't you talking to me? He stopped reading. reading. It's a, oh, why'd you stop reading? For many reasons. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would have been the first? Reason. Why aren't you? I'm talking. Well, but you're fine. You're doing your reading. You're good. Why aren't you talking to me? You're supposed to talk to me. I'm asking you about Ant-Man and the new adventure movie. Why aren't you talking to me? Because he's talking. You're supposed to listen to him. Oh, I'm supposed to be listening to him? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Shh. I'm showing you what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> <laughs> One time I scared my cousin really. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm listening. <laughs> What's wrong with this picture? Is this not okay? No. no. Look what she's doing. Why is your why is your thumb down? Because you're not paying attention to when somebody's reading, you should be looking at them or mm -hmm. just so what was i doing with this you're you're yeah. like a cat you're just playing listening around. to it oh i'm playing around oh so, so i'm wondering crying. wait a minute you said i had to listen giovanni she said i had to listen and then but it's really hard for me to listen why is it hard for me to listen because you're playing you're 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 not looking at him you're not trying to oh hear okay him. i have to look at you all right all right so I'm listening and I have to look. So I have to look at him and listen. Okay, I'm ready. One time I scared my cousin really bad. First of all, my cousin and I went to the basement. My older cousin was... What are you doing? I'm looking at him. You told me to look. I'm looking at him. You're making you need to stay in your bubble. Stay in your bubble. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at him. But you're not listening. You're right. I have not heard a word you said. But because now I'm just looking at him. That's what Miss. That's what Miss Lucky said. She said it. You're just like. I'm confused. You're not. You're not paying attention to him. You're, you're you're acting like you're listening to him, but you're really not. Like you're you're acting like you don't want to listen to him. That's what Miss Lucky said. She said when you're looking at somebody like. I mean, I'm not really looking. looking. Not so I'm cons I have a problem here though. I I don't have I can't actually listen because I can't see his work. So is this the best way to sit when you're conferencing? No. no. I can't shoulder see. So I wonder if we go like this. Here, turn this way. Shoulder to shoulder. Turn this. Way. That's way better. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see his work now. I might be able to pay attention. <laughs> so we now know, just based on a few bad examples of from myself, <laughs> what not to do, right? So you said I have to listen. You said I have to be a support. You said I can't play around. I need to focus on him, but I can't look at him because that doesn't even make sense if I stare at him. Then I'm not even listening. I have no idea what he's saying. If he's looking so, at you, then you're supposed to be looking at his work. I think we need to look at the work together. Now, does that mean I have to read it with him? No. 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 But I certainly, I'm going to follow along with him as he's reading. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be reading it in my head too. Because not only am I hearing it, I'm seeing it. That way I'm involved in the work. Do I have anything in my hand? No. no. Nothing. Is my draft book open? Am I reading my draft book? No. No. In fact, I can leave it in my lap. It can be on the floor. Okay. So now I'm ready to support him. I'm ready to help. 
I'm ready to question because what we do, we question each other. We listen, we question, and then we clarify meaning. When something doesn't make sense, I want to be able to support him. Yes? I have a way of making a mistake. Okay, so if you didn't hear what Danye said, she said you're not going to tell him to stop and try and fix every single mistake. Okay? Oh, you needed a capital. Oh, you need a period. Well, those conversations shouldn't even be in it. A conference because that's editing it has nothing to do around making meaning what you want to do is listen and if there's something that you really don't understand yes we are gonna put our hand everyone put a hand out gently you're gonna put a hand out and that's our stopping tool we're not gonna yell at them we're not gonna say ah stop we're gonna just simply put our hand on the draft book okay that just means stop reading because I had a question and I need more information exactly thank you Okay, so let's try this. Okay. One time I scared my cousin really bad. First of all, my cousin and I went to the basement. My older cousin was it because he lost rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so really, first of all, great job. Okay, what's the first thing I did? Compliment. Compliment. Complimented him. Compliment. Second, I heard you say that you have my cousins and I went to the basement, my older cousin. So you're mentioning a few cousins. I'm wondering, I don't really have any information on your cousins right away. And I don't have a picture in my head about your cousins. I'm wondering if you can add some information about your cousins to help me visualize as you're talking about them. Yeah, I, w I was wondering if you could help me with that, add, adding these details in. Oh, you already put them in your plan. What was your idea first? How do you want, do you want to put that all in the intro or do you want to so I'm gonna put this sticky right here, so you know to go back to that. Ow. So let's read the next part. We did rock, paper, scissors for we know who was it. In addition, for we know who was it? <laughs> for we know who was it? So we, did, we did rock, paper, scissors before. Before we knew who was it? So I'm just gonna circle this lightly because you're gonna erase it. And go back and fix that. That would be something that you have to reword. And if you need my help later, I'll come back and help. But right now, let's not dwell on it. I'm gonna circle it gently and then I want you to come back to it, okay? Okay, keep going. I'm gonna I'm writing down the idea that he's gonna need to give me more detail about that area. But what's he doing? He's rereading it right now. So if it takes a little bit of time, it's okay, but I'm gonna give him a reminder so he can go back. Now Let's go ahead and stop there. You did a really good job. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Jose, you did a really good job with coming in with that thought process already. And that's exactly what I want to hear you guys doing. If you already have ideas, you're going into this conference with, you need support, you want a good piece. If you already have thinking involved, share it, okay? Because that's where you guys are, we're gonna to work together. Now, the idea, Larry, is we don't want to sit here and fix everything. What do you think the sticky notes are gonna be used for? When we're done conferencing, he's gonna go back into his draft book. He's gonna get a blue pen. He is going to say, oh, I know I need to work through this right here. And he is going to, in here with his blue pen, make the changes. Is he going to erase anything? Nope. No. Nope. He's not gonna erase anything. He's gonna use what he knows so I can see the changes he made. So when he comes to my table for a conference with me, I can see the changes that he made in his work. Make sense? Now, is he checking for capitals? No. no. Periods? No. Spelling? No. no. Are sticky notes to be used for, you didn't put periods, you didn't no. use capitals? You can see that in your words. No, don't even tell him. That's nothing to do, okay? We don't need to know. Spelling's not gonna get in the way of meaning just yet. You guys know what you wrote. You can reread what you wrote. So every sticky note you get, it is in the spots where you're gonna to need to go back and develop yourself as a writer, okay? Make sense? Yeah.